Love is patient. Love is kind and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. James, I'm so happy that you make my sister so happy. And I can tell that she's just taken care of. And I can tell how much you love her by the way you look at her and the way the kids love you. And I'm so happy that they have a dad to be in their life, a good, such a good influence. And they call you daddy and love you so much, I can tell. And you treat them so well. And it's always a good time with you. You always make something with bacon. And I appreciate that. <laughs> Jalapeno poppers, delicious dip. I mean, what more can I ask for from a brother-in-law, right? <laughs> so congratulations. I'm so honored to be in your wedding and I love you guys so much. Congratulations. Jill, <laughs> seriously though, you look absolutely breathtaking tonight. <laughs> but as anyone close to you knows, even if your physical beauty faded away, you would still be just as beautiful. Your heart is gold. You have this way about you. You're kind considerate, detail-oriented. <clears throat> I just love being around you and to cheer you on in life. And you deserve all the best things. <laughs> he gathered himself, looked at me, and seriously said, but Kurt, I have a question. I, I want to I get your blessing. So I already knew what my answer was going to be, but I thought, oh, i got to quiz this guy anyways, right? Same question. Here we go. James, why in the world do you want to take on the responsibility of loving, marrying my sister, and being a father to two children? Because that's a big task. And right away, he answered very truthfully, I love your sister. I love the Lord. I know she loves the Lord, and that's the most important thing. And with that, I, I plan on being a great husband and a great father to those children. And wow. What a touching moment. It really was touching. <laughs> I can count on my hand how many young men my age that I look up to. And you're one of them, for sure. Um, you're extremely disciplined, respectful, and you can make any situation like tough, hard, funny. It, Wherever we're at, I know if you're there, we're going to have a fantastic time. I think that's something uh, God has truly blessed you with, is, is being a joy to be around. Um, I am so blessed to stand here by your side. Um, I couldn't imagine any different for you. And I know God is going to continue to bless your lives. And um, of course, we will always be right here by your side to help you through anything that you need. So. Congratulations, James and Jill. I love you guys.
I, James, take you, Jill, to be my wife. I, James, take you, Jill, to be my wife. I promise before God and all who are present here. I promise before God and all who are present here. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. I will love you and give myself up for you. I will love you and give myself up for you. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In riches and in poverty. In riches and in poverty. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And never forsake you. And never forsake you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I, Jill, take you, James, to be my husband. I, Jill, take you, James, to be my husband. I promise before God and all who are present here. I promise before God and all who are present here. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. I will love you and submit to you. I will love you and submit to you. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In riches and in poverty. In riches and in poverty. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And never forsake you. And never forsake you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I remember all the talks we used to have about our futures and, and this, and this, this is exactly what we've been dreaming about, what we've been talking about. And it's, it's an honor to stand up here for you and tell everyone how, how great of a man you are. Jill, I'm so happy for you. I'm just so happy for the both of you. Coming together, you could not have picked a better one of us at this time. <laughs> so. Here James and Jill come in to my hospital room right after I have a baby. She, Jill wants to hold the baby. And I'm like, oh, this girl's something special. James is bringing her around in my hospital room to meet my baby. <laughs> so, Jill, you make him very happy, I can tell. And he makes you very happy just in the time that I've known you. I wish you guys the best, and I'm happy to be a part of this day. Take time off when you can. Spend it together as a family. Spend it together with your wonderful kids. Spend it together with each other. Take that time for each other. Last is to love each other and let that love grow each and every day. Let it grow every day, every month, every year. Let it grow a little bit bigger. I love you guys so much. thing to get everybody on the same page in this family and uh, so anyway we're happy happy James came around because uh, Jill pulled it off she, she found a guy that everybody in the whole family loves isn't that something and then uh, and then and the real neat thing about it is James likes our family you know it's one thing for us to like him but he likes all of us that's amazing I love you guys a lot and um, I do see a difference in you, Jill. And James, I'm glad that you can be that person that completes her. I wanted to uh, raise a toast to both of you. James and Jill, I love you guys. And uh, I know you guys are gonna do good.